All right, this is uh, the next step in our angles work. Um, I've attached this document or I have taken a screenshot of it in a PDF so you can uh, print it off if you'd like to. If not, you can write on a separate sheet of paper. Just copy down the diagram and then solve as I'm going along. We have eight questions. I'm going to do three examples and then you can do the other five on your own and we'll check them tomorrow in class. And this is our video homework for linear pairs, vertical angles, and corresponding. And it's asking us to do three things. First things first, name the angle relationship. Second thing, write the appropriate equation and solve for x. And the last thing, find the measure of each angle. Okay, so we've done the first part and I'm gonna show you how to do the second and third part. And you should be able to do it. It's pretty, um, we've done it before. So name the angle relationship. I have linear pair, vertical, and corresponding. As I look here, I notice that those two angles are vertical. And I know that vertical angles are congruent, so the formula that I'm gonna use is A equals B. And then I'm just gonna take the angles, eight plus 13X, and set it equal to 15X minus eight, and then I'm gonna solve for X. So the way I would solve for X here is I would subtract 13X from the left side and the right side. You get 2X minus eight equals eight. And I'm gonna add eight to both sides and you get 2x is equal to 16, divide by two, x equals eight. So that's part two. The third part, it says find the measure of each angle. So the way you're gonna find the measure of each angle, I'm gonna change colors, is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna substitute my x value in to each angle. Now they're congruent, so they should equal each other when I do it, and let's see. So I have eight plus 13 times eight, and I have 15 times eight minus eight. Okay, I need a calculator because I don't know my eights multiplication very well. 13 times eight equals 104. So I have eight plus 104. Eight plus 104 would be 112 degrees. 15 times eight, is 120 minus eight would be 112 as well. And again, we said they were congruent, so that would make sense. And you also look, you see that we have an obtuse angle here and an obtuse angle here. So the 112 degrees makes sense. I'm gonna let you do the second example or the second problem for homework. And I'm gonna move on to number three. Number three, I look at this. Again, I only have three possible answers, linear pair, vertical, and corresponding. And I notice, based on our notes today, that it is corresponding. So I'd write corresponding. I also know that corresponding angles are congruent because they're both obtuse angles. So the formula is A equals B. And then I would write in my equation 32x plus 4 is equal to 33x. And then I solve that equation by subtracting 32x from both sides. And you get x equals 4. So I've done part 1, corresponding part 2, solve for x. Part 3, I'm going to substitute in to find the measurements. And again, they should be the same. So 32 times 4 plus 4 and 33 times 4. Well, 33 times 4 is 132 degrees. And 32 times 4 is 128. But I add 4 to that, and I get 132 degrees. So again, 132 degrees here, 132 degrees here. And that makes sense because, again, we have two obtuse angles. Again, I'm going to have you do number four, and I'm going to slide down and do number five. And here is six, seven, and eight that you're going to do. So number five, I look, and I uh, see that I have a straight line here, 180 degrees, split into two angles, and that tells me that it is a linear pair, 
if you would like to abbreviate linear pair as LP, feel free. I know that linear pair are supplementary because I have an obtuse angle and an acute angle, and uh, they add up to 180. So A plus B equals 180. That's your formula. So then angle A is X plus 141. And angle B would be X plus 61 equals 180. And then I add them. X plus X is 2X. 141 plus 61 would be 202 equals 180. And then I subtract 202 from both sides. And I get negative 22. I'm going to then divide by 2. And you get x equals negative 11. So that's part 1 and part 2. And now I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to substitute in and figure out my values. So negative 11. So my first angle was x plus 141. So negative 11 plus 141. Oh, there is a negative there. Let me slide it over. Negative 11 plus 141 would be 130 degrees. I have x plus 61. So negative 11 plus 61. Negative 11 plus 61 would be 50 degrees. Now, we said they were supplementary. We have 130 degrees here and 50 degrees here. And that makes sense because 130 plus 50 is 180 degrees. And that's how we know we got the answer correct. So I have shown you three different examples. There are five more problems to complete. Complete these tomorrow for class. Bring them in if you have any questions. If you're not really sure, maybe watch the video a couple more times. Uh, go through, identify the angle pair. Write the formula, solve, write the equation, solve it, and then plug it back in for your angle values. Have a great night. Take care.